Hey guys, I'm Simone, aka Absy Frosty, and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to, to create a NAS with the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B or the now announced uh, Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. And the reason why we can only use the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 is because we're going to be installing Windows 10 IoT Core, which is only available on those devices at the moment. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do head over to raspberrypi.org. Um, so let's go to raspberrypi.org over here. Once you're there, go to the download section and then Windows IoT Core. And once you're here, get the image for your Raspberry Pi. Right now, the only image that is solid for the Raspberry Pi is the Raspberry Pi 2 image. And the Raspberry Pi 3 image is on the way, but it's still in, in a beta stages. So by the time that you're watching this video, the Raspberry Pi 3 image might be in final build stages. So that's cool. So I'm going to go and download the Raspberry Pi 2 image because that's the Pi that I have. Um, and that comes at an ISO file. So give that a couple minutes to download and I'll come back once it's done. Okay, and once your download is finished, you're going to click this ISO file that you just downloaded. If you're on Windows 8 and up, you can just mount it with the Windows Explorer. Um, App. But if you're on Windows 7 and lower, you have to get third-party softwares to either extract the ISO file or mount it. Click OK. Now, it should mount the ISO here as a DVD drive. That's totally fine. And then just run the installer here. Click Accept, Install. And once it's done, click Launch Windows IoT Core Image Helper Application. Click Finish. Let that load up. And you can close Windows Explorer and your web browser. Now, once that's there, you can select your SD card, which has to be put in. And if this launches before your SD card is put in, then put it in and press refresh, and it should pop up. So select your SD card, browse to the .ffu file. Just press browse, and it should open up this window, press on Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 3 in the future, I don't know how it's gonna be, and flash.ffu. Open. Flash. Continue. Press yes. And it's going to open up this command line window. And I will be back once it's finished. So once it's finished, it should pop up with this little dialog box saying that it's completed. And press OK. You can close that. And this Windows Explorer window would probably open. So just close that too. Next step is to plug in your Raspberry Pi. All right. So first, plug in your Ethernet mouse and keyboard, external USB hard drive for your NAS, but in this case, I'll be using a four gig USB stick, an HDMI cable for video, the micro SD card we just prepared with Windows 10, and finally power. The Raspberry Pi should boot there you go, the Windows logo. Okay, now it's just setting up a couple files. All right, so now we can choose our language. So I'm gonna choose English next. All right, and so now we got this page, which tells us that we're running on a Raspberry Pi 2, which we know. Some IP info, so we're running on this IP address. Um, the host name, Mini Win PC. Um, the OS version 10.5.8.6, which is the current latest version, and some of the connected devices. And you can see how there is a storage media that is going to be your external USB hard drive. So now that we have all this info, we have to go back to our desktop or a separate computer and log in via SSH. So if you're on a PC, you're going to need to download a software called Putty. Uh, the link will be in the description down below and it'll bring you to this page where you're going to want to download the latest putty client so that's this one over here um, there is no installer at the moment so it's just a run only app which is kind of cool uh, if you're on a mac then you can use the uh, the built-in terminal and there's an ssh command in there i'm not going to go into detail on how to use that there are plenty of guides online on how to use that command uh, just follow those and so let's get into it so open up Putty, type in the host name, so min win pc. 
open. This might take a couple seconds. And about 30 seconds later, this popped up. Click on yes. Log in as administrator. This is cap sensitive, so capital A. And password is P at sign S S W zero R D enter. And now we're into a Windows command line. So now for security reasons, we're going to change the admin account password the, because the password that we, that we just logged in with right now is really just password with some different characters, but it's still not that safe. So we're going to type in net user administra administrator and then star or asterisks. After that, type in a new password. I'm going to type in a password over here. Type it again. And now it's done. So next, we should change the host name for this Raspberry Pi. So we're going to change it to RPI NAS. So let's do set computer name RPI NAS. All right, so now we've got a reboot. So let's do shutdown um, slash R slash T space zero zero, enter. So now it's just gonna reboot. So now you can just close this putty window, click okay, and reopen up putty again. And under the host name, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to type in your new host name. Now mine is RPI NAS. I'm gonna give the, the Raspberry Pi a couple more seconds to boot because we won't be able to log in right now. Okay, so the Pi should be booted by now. So I'm gonna click open. Let's give this another couple seconds to to ask us to verify the RSA key or something. And press yes. Log in as administrator. And then your new password. So now to verify that the host name was actually changed, just type in host name and it should pop up your new host name. All right, so now this is the part that we actually create the NAS. So we need to create a share user so that the people on your local network can connect to the share with this user. Now to do this, we need to use the net user command. So the username for this new user um, is gonna be share user, or that is what I'm gonna use at least for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna type in net oops, net user then share user now the password that I'm going to use um, is going to be password for now but you should put in a better password than this because this is not very secure so then you just going to do forward slash add all right so that user was created now the last time I did this, the drive mounted to drive letter E by default. So let's see if it's there. And yeah, now if you plug in more than one USB drive, let's say you plug in four USB drives, then they're probably gonna mount on drives letters E, F, G, and H. Now I'm not too sure, um, but I think that's it. And if that is not the case, then basically just go through all the drive letters. So like, let's say if there's one on F, just type in F colon, and if there's nothing there, it'll say it cannot find anything. So the next step is to create the share. So for this, we're gonna to need to use the net share command. So net share, give the share name. So I'm gonna call this share and then put equal, and then the path. So our path is E colon backslash. Next, we want to do grant. Now we're going to do share user, or whatever the username of the user you created two minutes ago. And then you're going to want to do comma full. Enter. Now that should have shared. So let's do net share. You can see that here we have a share called share. 
Now let's say that that you want to grant more than one user. Well, you have to do netshare slash grant colon the username and then full and then you have to do slash grant again colon the next username comma full etc. So you just basically just keep on repeating that same command and that's pretty much it. So to test that the share works, I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer window, this PC, computer, map network drive. So now we're going to map the share on our NAS to our computer. So this is our Pi NAS. And there you go. You see that that the share is mounted, and this is and and you just repeat the same process on all of your client machines, uh, or all of your computers on your network that 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 you would like that you would like to be connected to your NAS. Um, on a Mac, you you're gonna want to go to Go, which is gonna be on top of the screen, and connect to server. And just do backslash backslash rpi nas or whatever your nas name host name is um, and then log in with your credentials and you should be greeted with the same share and so that's pretty much it and the reason why this is the easiest way to do it on a raspberry pi is because before windows 10 I iot core came out for the raspberry pi you you'd have to do this on linux and on linux this is not very easy because some of the Samba users and because some of the Samba users credentials and permissions it wasn't mounting and you couldn't read and write and there's problems with the shares and whatever but this is really easy because we are creating these shares in Windows and it's natively supported in Windows whereas on Linux you have to install a bunch of add-ons and a bunch of plugins and stuff and it takes a lot more time and it doesn't work as well and this is just easier so if you like this video please like and subscribe if you didn't like it dislike if you have any questions concerns comments just leave them down in the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and if you would like to financially support me then you can buy a t-shirt from my spreadshirt web store um and the link for that will be in the description of this video, as well as in the channel links of my main channel page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.